क्लास एट्थ सब्जेक्ट जनरल साइंस चैप्टर फोर करंट इलेक्ट्रिसिटी एंड मैग्नेटिज्म एक्सरसाइज क्वेश्चन वन राइट द प्रॉपर वर्ड्स फ्रॉम द फॉलोइंग ग्रुप ऑफ वर्ड्स इन द ब्लैंक्स ए वॉटर इन द वॉटरफॉल फ्लोज फ्रॉम अ हायर लेवल टू द लोअर लेवल बिकॉज ऑफ ग्रेविटेशनल अट्रैक्शन बी इन एन इलेक्ट्रिक सर्किट इलेक्ट्रॉन्स फ्लो फ्रॉम अ पॉइंट ऑफ लोअर पोटेंशियल टू द पॉइंट ऑफ हायर पोटेंशियल सी द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द इलेक्ट्रोस्टैटिक पोटेंशियल ऑफ द पॉजिटिव एंड एंड द नेगेटिव एंड ऑफ एन इलेक्ट्रिक सेल इज द पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस ऑफ द सेल डी थ्री इलेक्ट्रिक सेल्स ऑफ पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस वन पॉइंट फाइव वोल्ट इच हैव बीन कनेक्टेड एज द अ बैटरी द पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस ऑफ द बैटरी विल बी फोर पॉइंट फाइव वोल्ट E an electric current flowing in a wire creates magnetism around the wire. Question 2 A battery is to be formed by joining three dry cells with connecting wires. Show how you will connect the wires by drawing a diagram. Answer Question 3 In an electric circuit a battery and bulb have been connected and the battery consists of two cells of equal potential difference if the bulb is not glowing then which tests will you perform in order to find out the reason for the bulb not glowing answer if you can see the filament of the bulb check whether it is intact or broken check whether the cells are connected in a proper manner or a wrong manner if they are connected in a wrong way as shown above the total potential difference will be 2v plus in bracket negative 2v complete bracket is equals to 0 question 4 electric cells having potential difference 2 volt each have been connected in the form of a battery what will be the total potential difference of the battery in both cases answer 1 6 volt 2 8 volt question 5 describe the construction working and usefulness of a dry cell with the help of a diagram answer positive terminal carbon electrode divisor protective cover negative terminal manganese dioxide electrolyte zinc cover answer break a lead dry cell and remove its outer coating inside you will find a whitish metal layer this is zinc metal layer this is the negative terminal of the cell now carefully break open this layer there is another layer inside an electrolyte is felt between these two layers the electrolyte contains negatively charged and positively charged ions these are the carriers of electricity the electrolyte is a wet pulp of zinc chloride and aluminum chloride there is a graphite rod at the center of the cell this is positive terminal of the cell a paste of manganese dioxide is felt outside the rod because of the chemical reactions of all these chemicals electrical charge is produced on the two terminals 
and an electric current flows in the circuit. Question 6. Describe the construction and working of an electric bell with the help of a diagram. Diagram Stricker Iron Strip Contact Screw Key Electromagnet Bell Answer the construction of an electric bell and also the electric circuit. The bell consists of an electromagnet contact, screw, iron strip, metal stricker and metal gong. A coil of copper wire wound around an iron piece works as an electromagnet and an iron strip along with a stricker is fitted near it. A contact screw touches the strip. The circuit is closed with the key. The current flows in the circuit when the screw is in contact with the iron strip. The current carrying coil becomes a magnet and attracts the iron strip toward it. As a result, the metal stricker hits the metal gong producing sound. At the same time, the screw loses the contact with the strip. The circuit is now incomplete. Hence, no current flows in the circuit. Therefore, the electromagnet loses its magnetism and the electric iron strip returns to its initial condition, making contact with the screw.